Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all colors, races, and places. Welcome back to Army Men of Civil War Fire and Plastic. If you don't want to see this whole kind of uh, interesting uh, map sequence, Mind you, there will not be any dice rolls in this one. I'm, I'm gonna have to skip it because I want to get this video out before Christmas, or during Christmas. There you go. So, here we are. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a happy, happy holidays. Welcome back to the civil war between uh, the United and the Republic. Right now, I would definitely say the Republic is winning, strictly because they have so much more land. And also, they captured a very strategic town of Georgia. But, but, that is not today's battle. So, in our last episode, we saw this battle here. What was this, Roland Ronald? Something, uh, the Highlander General for the United over here fought off against Republic Marines off of the freighter, or capital ship. It's a quite big freighter, um, Greenwood. They, we, that battle was so crazy that it crashed my game. And so we had a vote and the United came out on top. But... This is not the end of this story. A lot is happening. You see, um, the Republic are now sending men that were happily marching through Georgia. And, uh, if you know that song. Um, and they are now marching towards this encampment. It looks like the reinforcements that, um, uh, Ronald was getting are taking off. What's going on, you might be asking. Ronald knows the captain of this ship, Admiral Greenwood II, and believe it or not, they were once rivals, both for the Green Republic back long ago in the war between the Green and the Orange. I'm still working on the Orange, but hold on on that. We got a lot of factions I wanna, I'm brought into this. So, because of this, this rivalry needs to, I would say, have an interesting story. Ronald had the absolute Chad Baller hip uh, swag, I don't even know what, what you kids use nowadays, um, uh, idea to get into the enemy paddle boats and paddle out to the capital ship of the Greens, Greenwood, and take it over by force. Now, usually this would be a suicide mission. You attack a freighter, it's just gonna shoot you with cannonballs. But the freighter's been lobbing cannonballs first at Georgia, and now at the fort, or the outpost out here, for days. It's out of cannonballs. Or if it does have cannonballs, it's really low. And General Ronald of the Highlanders knows this because he was the second in command for the Green Republic Navy before he, I guess you can say, joined the United. So he knows, he knows there's actually a very good chance of him paddling out, of course his men might be very tired, and taking over this ship. Now, before we get the battle started, I want to give you guys maybe a second chance at a couple votes. Since we've seen um, about three battles now, I want to have a revote on some things. The first one being a uh, good old uh, Stonewall over here and the Republic forces led by uh, Greening? Greening? Gr Groning? This massive. Um, I guess you can say frontline battle through a cornfield. So this is going to be a very key battle. If you guys want to see this monstrosity of a battle, we can. Of course, the second battle was this battle over here. I'm still working on two generals. A commenter down below of rivalry of the two greens wanted uh, it to happen. So I think I'm going to pick him when we do the heroes. The United with 
some reinforcements from greenstone walls oh, forces wait, over here would try to come around and attack the republic uh, town over here they might even take some boats over which which much more elite forces the republic know this and are actually going to work it out with an orange leader over here and this orange leader mind you uh, is one out of the two leaders of the orange bandit uh, I guess you could say crime lord and he owns one of the biggest towns and a bunch of smaller towns around and the general of this orange has to unite all the orange so that was going to be the third battle, if you guys want that anyway. But anyway, the Orange are going to come over and help the Republic. So, we have three battles. The Massive Cornfield Battle, uh, the Battle of the p Over the Pool, or the Orange, um, uh, I guess you can say, leadership of who will be leading. Now, you probably already see them from here, but I have some nice and important updates for this mod. I'm going to be working on uh, the map on the other side of this uh, lake here. So first things first, I want to get this out of the way. We actually now have working cavalry. Um, last time in the battle over here, where we saw the Republic Marines, we had guys in wagons come in and that did not work out very well. But now we actually have working cavalry. And I thought I could uh, show it off. So if I get my boy on here up on the thing, it looks a little weird because uh, he's not fully on sitting, he's actually crouching. But the cool part about this is he can use his gun while on the horse. Look at that. So the horse could be riding and he could be shooting. So now we officially have working cavalry. We're gonna get some cool cavalry going. Okay, now let's 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 get to some new factions that I'm working on. Now I get it, the English. Oh, the English! They're supposed to be the, all the high and mighty in the, you know the 18th century, 19th. They had the biggest navy, the biggest stuff. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm gonna. I took that personally. I'm just like, nope, we're not doing that. So they are actually in the 16th century. They still have knights and shining armor with swords. They still have guys with rifles and even crossbows. We're gonna give it. To try. Oh, oh god. What the hell? That is a very smoky crossbow. I think he fired it so hard that the, the crossbow is now completely on fire. So that's gonna need some force. Uh, also, knights now can, like, run around and. Now, it. it it, it's uh, it's a little derpy. It's got no animation, but it only works at close quarters. Oh my god, the smoking crossbow. I kind of don't want to kick believe that. I think that is so stupid but funny. So the next thing we have is the yellow, a.k.a. the samurai. I thought this would be cool. They got, like, katanas, as you can see. Um, this boy here. Maybe, maybe we can have the knight and the samurai go at each other. What do you guys think? Oh, this is just gonna be ridiculous. Okay, you know what? Why not? We're, we're having fun here. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Excellent. You attack you. You attack you. Okay, guys, get ready. Fight. Oh, the samurai got the strike first. He was way faster. Oh, uh, Knight is down. Oh, but he's not out. Well, that was interesting. Anyway, um, continuing on, we have this kind of undead. For the first time ever, we can actually oh, see wait, through a unit. I've never seen that. So we got these, like, undead right pirates who I think are going to be really cool. Um, I absolutely am in love with the Reds. The Reds look absolutely baller. Um, the Reds are going to be, um, I guess at war with the, the tan over here, but the Reds are kind of cool. They're based off of the 1880s or 1870s. 
70s uh, Russians. And of course, we finally have the Napoli Tans, aka just the Tans. Um, I like them. It, it, it's not too out of the blue. I, I, to be honest, I think that looks a little bit too human. Like, the red looks perfect. I wish I was the the poly tans, not so much. So, those are kind of the new away, factions. Away, come away, come away, really? Really? You didn't just shoot him? You had to... Wow! I had to... Oh! Anyway, those are the new factions. A new unit. I'm still gonna maybe see if I can get more stuff to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time that we got this battle started. I hope you guys have a happy holiday, Christmas, the Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I don't even know if those are in the right dates, but just take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Have a great holiday. Enjoy your life. Take care, guys. Sir! Reinforcements from Green Stonewall, sir! Good. Sergeant, take your men, take whatever resources from this outpost, and leave. The, uh, sir? Stone Greenwall ordered to hold this post. Yeah, this isn't about stone. That ship out there is Greenwood. And on that ship is my rival. Uh, sir? God damn it, Sergeant. You listen here. You tell them we couldn't hold the fort. We were compromised under certain situations. Take your men, take whatever resources, cross the Georgia line. Uh, yes, sir. Now get out of here. Okay, men, listen up, and listen clearly. Behind me is that flagship, Greenwood. But because we got Fort Sumter, they can't reinforce it. It's trapped. I counted the shots. I counted every single cannonball I found on the ground. I know Greenwood. It's out of cannonballs. Boys, what I'm about to ask you will be considered absolutely ridiculous. If you want to run, I'll 100% allow it. But I've been thinking, it's Christmas Eve. Christmas is around the corner. Why not we take that goddamn flagship? We got the rowboats, the boats right here. Listen to me, men. I have served you proud for 40 years. We fought in tooth and nail against the Orange Camp. We were there in Fort Duncan when the Purples attacked. I have never done any of you wrong. I'm asking you to put away your differences, to put aside what you believe in, and fight for the greater good. Yes, there is no retreat in one we're out there. Yes, we might all perish. But I'm asking you for this final battle. If you're not interested, you can leave. Now what says you? Sir, it looks like our marines failed. God damn it. And we're out of cannonballs as well, sir. Yeah, I expected that. We're gonna have to... Greenwood! I'm coming for you, you Yankee! You took my rank! You took my ship! You took my wife! I come to settle this! What tarnation? Have you gone local, Ronald? 
You dare attack the flagship of the Greens with paddle boats? I know you, Greenwood. I counted the shots. You're out. The only way we fight this is mono e mono. Fine. You want to be like that? You damn traitor? Then come and get me. Men, open fire. Boys, attack! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have it in slow-mo. The battle is 100% on. As you can see, the men are opening fire. The men on the cannon ships, they got their peaty little pistols out. They got their riflemen. This is going to be the battle of the century. All shipmen are coming into battle here. They're firing as best they can. Oh God, this is gonna be absolutely insane. I think this ship is going to be the first one that goes in. Bro, he's saying. I guess we can probably bring it back up to normal speed. I wanna get closer to the battle here. It's, the men are getting closer and closer. Oh god, men are being stranded uh, and shot, mind you. Back on slow-mo, because this is going to be important. Uh, men are getting out. This is going to be a very close quarters battle. The men are swimming towards the boat. Oh, this is going to be nuts. Bro, look at that. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The moment they hit the boat, they should come up. Like it should whoop! They should just come right up. Here we go. Yep, here we go. Oh my god. Here they come! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Here they come! Oh the lot! Bam! Bam! Love is it always on time? Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, now this is turning into pure chaos because now they're actually fighting. Oh, the line! Oh, Jesus! Here we go! Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, this is gonna be absolutely crazy. The battle for the deck is definitely on. The crew members actually have a really strong the, the position here. Oh shit! It's just chaos! Oh jeez, there's men running, fighting, like fighting mainly, shooting, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, good kick! Oh my god! Yeah, they're starting to take over now. They're starting to fight the sailors. The sailors had the first shots. But it doesn't look like that for long. Oh my god. This! We got melee in action here! The Admiral is letting hell! Oh, he got shot! They're trying to protect the Admiral! Ah! Oh my god! The battle's still fighting over here! Oh my god! It looks like they really joined up here! Oh my god, but the they've counted up over here! Oh, this is crazy. They're in the house! Look out, Admiral! The Admiral's running, he's falling back. Oh my god, this is insane! Roland or Ronald or whatever his name is is taking up a position over here. 
The Admiral is still fighting with his men over here. We have a massive melee battle over here. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a charge or something? I'm not sure what. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm not sure though. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Now it looks like the United are the ones taking the offense using the fact that they are reloading. Oh genius. Coming in. Here comes the kicks. Oh! Looks like we have a big push here for over here. Um, yep, this is it. The final strong point of the Admiral's men. Um. Oh my god. Yeah, they're just straight up executing them. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Did they do it? Oh no, there's like this one soldier here. Oh my god. Yeah. He is the last man alive. And he's definitely trying to stay in cover here. Guys, he's surrendering. Stop. Stop. He's giving up. Look, guys, he's giving up. He's got his hands out. He's giving up. Oh, my God, they took the ship. They took the goddamn ship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the battle. Close quarters, chaotic. Everybody's running around, meleeing, shooting. I thought the Republic had it in the beginning, but then, oh, my God, did they get swarmed. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great Christmas. Have a great day. Stay safe. Oh, come on, you. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>